Ed and Nancy Keenholz are famous, or notorious depending on your point of view, for their controversial and provocative installations. In the summer of 2009, their biggest piece, the Horengracht, was packed up in the Keenholz's American studio, ready for transportation to London's National Gallery. In a way, they've been like outsider artists. Ed Keenholz was self-taught. Nancy, when she married him, learned about sculpture through him, working with him. I don't think he was the sort of artist who, who cared too much about being seen to be part of a history, nor did she. They just made the work that they needed to make as powerfully as possible. The Horengracht is a three-dimensional walk-in recreation of Amsterdam's notorious red light district as it appeared during the 1980s. Viewers are drawn in to peer into the windows and doorways in order to discover the secrets concealed within. In the history of art, this is nothing new because painters have been doing exactly this since the discovery of perspective. It might seem heretical to those who love Vermeer for his cool, abstracted beauty, but his lady standing at the Virginals is a pictorial cousin of Jutta standing in her window. Of course, we knew about it, about the red light district, you know, years before we made the piece. I mean, because we'd go to Amsterdam for, for exhibitions or to visit friends mm. or traveling through. I, I don't know what sparked the idea to go ahead and make the red light district. Because it's a hugely ambitious piece. It it's must be ambitious. one of the biggest pieces that the two of you made. Yeah, I think, I think it is. It took about five years. Each of the rooms is packed with amazing details, like the U-bend on the sink and everything. How much were Ed and you concerned to oh, get all this? Oh, all of that stuff. You know, I mean, that's very Keenholz. It, it is, where it's always over the top. And another Keenholz trademark is covering the installations with all of this kind of gungy stuff. All of that dribbling down the window becomes water, rain, tears. It can be all of those things, but really, first of all, you can't paint fabric if it's just fabric. And so by putting the resin on it, it hardens it, and then you can go in and you can paint the fabric. And then it's always the very last thing to do is to put the resin on it. By doing that, you're connecting unconnected things, you connect them together. Like putting the resin, they all become cohesive rather than being just individual things. And can you remember, or doesn't it matter, which parts you worked on and which parts Ed worked on? Anything that was like nitpicking work, he hated. He liked the grand gesture. He didn't like the things like even making a body cast. You know, he liked that, casting all these women, but he didn't like to do the hands or he didn't like to do the feet because it's, it's boring. But it's, sometimes it's very dangerous to show up in the studio, especially if you're doing something like this and, and you can be very innocent and walk in and the next thing you know, you're naked and, you know, and you're being put into plaster. And one thing all the characters have got in common is the frames around their faces. They were cookie boxes, and the idea behind them is that the women can close themselves off. So this man here is a, a genuine potential client. Yes. And he doesn't know he's in this artwork. No. That's rather good, isn't we it? We hope he's not the minister of something, huh? <laughs> Either the church or the government. We could go inside of the rooms. We had asked the girls if we could come inside and photograph the interiors of the room, and they would allow us to do that. You know, at first they'd be shaking their fingers at us because they didn't like women to be there, and I was doing the photography, and so they didn't like that. And, but then when they realized they could make 50 guilders, then they'd wave at us, and we'd walk by and they'd wave, and they'd say, what about my room? So they became very friendly. In all the years when Ed and I were making the piece for the five years, you know, I'd say to him, pimps and whores, pimps and whores, I'm sick of pimps and whores, and, and not enough pimps, we only have whores, you know, this kind of stuff. And he'd say, oh, Nancy, no, no, it's about the light. What really interests me is those lights, because when you walk down the streets, they're just like, like little paintings, they're beautiful. 